Welcome to WZ114 video, ladies and gentlemen, and what you just witnessed uh, is, you know, pretty standard behavior from uh, this vehicle. You aim, you take the shot, and you miss while you receive one back uh, from, actually, you know, this was just pure RNG. The BZ176 came in, not even fully aimed in, and slapped my lower plate uh, while only, like, um, a portion of it was visible, and I completely missed my shot, and over here, boom, defender... Well, that guy most likely was already fully aimed in. Very bad start for the battle, but don't worry, guys, it will get better for sure, because, you know, it cannot be any worse than that. Zero damage and lost half the hit points. But, guys, why am I featuring this tank in today's video in the first place? Well, I do have a couple reasons for that. Uh, first one being... It is one of the newest uh, tanks, uh, one of the newest additions to the in-game Bond store, you know, which is available all the time where you are able to pick up uh, tanks like Patriot or D-103, Guard and uh, many other things for Bonds. And this one was added with update 1.24.1 1 for 11,000 Bonds. And many of you maybe would like to know if this is a good tank, is it worth the Bonds, uh, should you go for it and so on. We're going to talk about all of that in a second. And uh, secondly, the second reason and the more exciting reason for me why I feature this tank is that today I actually uh, finished third marking this, which was uh, a challenge uh, set to be by the stream, and uh, I was actually able to slay this beast, uh, which took all my patience. It honestly took all my patience, because it is something which doesn't really fit with my playstyle. I do not like tanks which are very slow and with absolutely disgustingly bad gun handling. I mean, every single tank can have its days. Of course, we all understand that every single tank can have good games. And uh, I had multiple very, very exciting and good games in uh, this uh, WZ114 as well. Now, we're dealing over 5,000, 5,500, where the gun was slapping everything left, right, center. You know, for example, like in this battle right over here, after the first uh, uh, loss of hit points, when I lost the 50% of our hit points, uh, the gun started slapping. As you can see, we're already up to 3,200 damage and uh, uh, some shots more to come. So, you know, enjoy this battle. But um, I also had battles where... Damage was just almost impossible to get, because what makes this tank so disgusting for me to play with is the aiming time. And the, the standard, uh, the, the hidden dispersion factors, what we, you do not see in the game, because if you look at the uh, accuracy in the game, just flat out accuracy, you know, dispersion at 100 meters, it is 0 0.32. It is like one of the better ones in tier 9 compared to many other tier 9 heavies. But uh, the times um, when you are able to use that dispersion, this means fully aimed shot, that is not happening in every single battle. But in this battle, for example, I was able to do that multiple times. And th that last shot as well, you know, into the foish, it uh, aiming circle was pretty damn small and uh, almost impossible to miss, right? Then boom, slap that guy. Same to the Yotank, what we took out before there uh, on the island. But um, you are not able to fully aim in your shots in many, many battles, in many, many situations, uh, because your aiming time is forever and ever. On paper, the aiming time is 3.74 seconds. But let's say if you are moving, if you are turning your hull, turning your turret, and then start fully aiming it in with full bloom, it is close to 5 seconds, guys. Close to 5 seconds. And uh, the hidden dispersion factors, what we still do not see in the game, were gaming after 12 bloody years. Or 13 years, sorry. We just turned 13 years old. Or this game turned 13 years old, right? We don't see dispersion factors when the tank is moving, when the tank is, you know, turning its hull, uh, turning its turret. The stats which actually matter, and the stats which actually matter are one of the worst I have ever seen. 0 0.33 stabilization dispersion, guys. You know, this is what uh, the stabilizer effects and then so on, so on, right? So, because of that, and combined with the aiming time, you are basically forced to take many, many non-fully aimed in shots. What do you mean, Des? What do you mean you are forced to take them? Well, because of the aiming time is so long, what are you going to do with enemy 
who is going to peak a corner very fast. You know, going to pull out, taking the shot, pulling back. Are you not going to take the shot? Of course you're going to take the shot. Non-fully aimed in shot, but you are going to miss most of them while they are able to hit you with their way more aimed in shot. For example, or when someone is crossing a field, you are uh, not able to fully aim it shot, you are still going to take it. And the only reason you are not able to fully aim it in is because of the aim time. This is the point I'm trying to make over here. And uh, that combined with the bad stabilization, you know, this just equals so many, so bloody many missed shots in this tank. This battle, however, was very nice, you know, 5,800 damage, which is absolutely giga battle uh, for WZ114, for me personally, at least, in my hands. And uh, when I'm talking about, you know, those type of shots, let me show you a little battle which I had on Berlin, where I was actually able to get a couple full aims over here, like, you know, the IS-2. This guy is peaking half, uh, half the turret. First shot uh, missed, the second shot missed, but I'm able to hit that, for example. And the very next shot, I did miss this one, which, you know, raises some questions, let's say. Or uh, this one, I believe this is more of a raid issue, or just uh, not waiting enough for the server radical, or the final shot in this game, which uh, where my brain lagged, for example. I don't know, I should have clicked it earlier, but then again, I wanted to give it a little little bit more aim time to make it higher chance to go towards the center because um, if I was going to hit that shot into the center it's a hit left right low it's a hit if top right it's a hit into the turret but it went into the top left so you know it is what it is guys or this shot straight into the ground versus EBR 75 but guys you know every tank can do that but this tank just does it more. Now, what is good about the gun, guys? Does it have anything good as well? Um, 530 alpha. This is pretty nice. But I would say, because we have a tank, 50 dp in tier 9, that has 560 alpha in the game. It wouldn't hurt the matchmaking. It wouldn't hurt the game if this tank as well with that reload time, which is 19.18 seconds stock, would get 560 alpha as well. But you know, 530, is it special now? Uh, not anymore, I would say so, because, you know, we have many tanks uh, with more, or many, many tier 9 heavy tanks with the same, or with more alpha. Like, you know, E75 has the same, 50 dp has a little bit more, 560, right? It has very good um, AP penetration, 266, so if you are able to hit your shots, uh, that AP round usually is going through stuff unless you miss your aimed lower plate and it goes into the upper plate or you miss the commander hatch snipes and so on. You know, of course, you need to penetrate, but if you do um, hit it uh, even slightly, 266 penetration many times is enough and because it is a premium tank it is going to make you credits thanks to that as well. Premium heat has 311 millimeters of penetration which in tier 9 I would say is definitely good enough. It is going to struggle versus some tier 10s uh, you know where 340 heat what phase 1 or M103 or those type of tanks uh, get but 311 I would say is good most of the times. Uh, uh, what else uh, can I highlight of the gun? or gonna highlight on this gun standard shell velocity 1271 good minus 10 degrees of gun depression which unlocks many positions uh, for you to play on because minus 10 degrees uh, on most of the maps in the world of tanks is the sweet spot which uh, which unlocks you most of the key positions most of the hull down positions and I believe this is where I will stop talking about the gun. It has a good standard penetration, decent alpha 530. It has good gun depression, decent uh, shell velocity, uh, good accuracy on the paper. But the rest is utter, utter garbage. And this is why all the other things I didn't mention right now. The low DPM, the lowest possible DPM, the calendar length measuring time, aiming time, the hidden dispersion factors on the move, tank traverse, turret traverse, the gun overall for me is 
trash. It just is trash. The amount of times I feel hopeless. The amount of times I feel like I'm useless for my team, not able to hit the shots. I'm trying my best to hit the shots with this DPM. You know, if you use um, the Rammer and Rammer Directive, like 15 to 16 second reload time, it's just, ah, it just eats me inside many times. But, you know, you can have battles like that as well, where the gun once again works. You know, when you are able to full aim in your shots, guys, you need to have long thrown out games to make it work. And uh, as I showed you before, I had very many decent games, but just in nowadays World of Tanks, overall, it is too slow to keep up with the meta, with... Um, all the other tanks and uh, to be consistently effective for your team. I think that was very politically correct what I just said over here. So yeah, guys, mobility, uh, mobility, uh, yeah, it's a massive tank in size. I would say mobility is like, you know, it's slow, it is slow, but it could be worse. It is slow, but it could be worse. I'm using the experimental uh, uh, turbo over here just for extra stabilization as well. Uh, then what else could... Um, health, yeah, it has massive amount of hit points, 2300 base, but if you field mode it up, 2400 without hardening even, guys. This is more than many tier 10 vehicles get, but, uh, you know, hit based the question. The high amount of hit points, is it uh, good for you or is it good for the enemies, you know, so they can farm you more? Because how I look at things when I rate them, or how I look at tanks when I rate them, is also how I feel about playing against those tanks. And whenever I see WZ114, I think about it as a tier 9 dog too. A tank with a juicy amount of hit points, a tank which uh, I can uh, usually, in most uh, situations, farm quite easily. No matter in uh, which tank I am. Uh, because, you know, many other tanks have just better things to offer over here. So it made me work very hard, guys. And finally, we have made to the battle, which, uh, well, that was, you know, perfect angle for the IS-6. Just the uh, face of the turret, the upper plate, everything was angled perfectly because I was uh, on the lower ground over here. Mm. But finally, we made it into the battle, which actually gave me the third mark as well. And over here, I decided to use as many heat rounds as early as possible, just to increase my chances to penetrate even lower tier tanks over here. Because in this battle, I was 94.30 something. The replay mark of excellence numbers over there are a bit off, because there is a replay. By the way, check out this shot. Sadly, you do not see the outline. Like, I'm so so sad replay files the outlines do not work sometimes it is just a bug that uh, sometimes it doesn't show the outline uh, through the bushes but uh, I wanted you I wanted you to see that the aiming circle was basically fully covering the tank and I was still able to miss the shot right anyway this battle you know starting off quite hot actually uh, coming in over here, putting myself into danger because I knew that there are many snipers, many tank destroyers sniping, but um, if I'm over here, if I'm down here hiding my hull, I know that they can only hit my commander hatch or reliably, let's say, penetrate my commander hatch, and I am just going um, as deep as possible, just trying to finish it. Because I just have had enough, you know? It was perfect uh, matchmaking for us, uh, tier 7s, tier 9s, tier 8s, and we have good position over here to do that so I just went full in and um, I was hoping to get assistance from the uh, tank destroyer sniping at me or blind shots or just you know do whatever I can uh, to take the maximum out of this middle position right over here I have had enough guys I played over 100 uh, games I think 115 120 something like that games in the past four days with this tank but I have to say one thing, you know, I have to say one thing. Props to 114, guys. It uh, taught me how to be patient. Actually, it taught me, by the way, that shot was a hit, how to be more patient in uh, some positions. Because uh, I have been uh, trying to improve my game all the time, right? Uh, 
like analyzing it after some battles and uh, what I find out is uh, about myself my playstyle is that uh, sometimes I rush too much you know even when I feel like the game is in my hand I just uh, rush in uh, just a little bit too early maybe even sometimes 10 seconds 15 seconds too early but uh, what I found out, you know, after analyzing the battles is that if I waited that extra 15 seconds, I had two more shots in me and I would have been able to survive. Because, uh, you know, working on your survival percentage, while of course not camping the red line, um, and also trying to improve the damage scores, uh, because, you know, all this helps you to win more battles. If you survive for longer, you're able to carry more, you're, if you deal more damage, this is the goal of this game, destroy all the vehicles or capture the base right then um, you can increase your performance and uh, this tank taught me how to be patient mainly because of the reload time as well so it's uh, i don't know like it it's kind of a practice tummy for me right but you know all the things we said about this tank in this video um do I recommend this well hopefully you have figured it out yourself as well that no I do not recommend this tank at all, especially spending 11,000 bonds on it. You need to pay 3,000 more bonds, which is the hardest currency to get in World of Tanks, I would say so. For a tank uh, which uh, struggles in just so many battles. If the battle is fast, you are physically not able to do much more. You are just too slow to push together with your team and your DPM is just too low to keep up with the damage. And then again, what many maybe do not think about is, once again, that aiming time. Let's say when the score is uh, 10 to 5, you know, uh, four allied tanks are going in, they see one or two targets, right? They have 1000 hit points. Everybody starts aiming in. Your aiming time is the longest. What are you going to do? Are you going to risk? To take the shot over there knowing that most likely you are going to miss or are you going to try to get the aiming circle just slightly smaller just more a little bit smaller a little bit smaller and by the time all the other guys next to you have fired the tank to death you know it's just all those dilemmas what you maybe normally do not think about the uh, gums um, into play in this situation and uh, by the way i need one more shot over here oh actually no that blind shot into issue which uh, i have as well already secured the third mark but i was not sure so i was hoping to get this in and man 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 we finished this actually in style with over 5000 damage done so yeah guys wz114 <laughs> challenge from the stream to three market and uh, yeah i still hate this tank um, i did get st just slightly more respect to it but still i do not recommend this to absolutely anyone the uh bond store is filled with tanks that can do exactly what this tank can do and way more you know in some battles of course this might be the best tank in for some situation but those battles are very rare so pick anything else and be happy ladies and gentlemen this is wz114 i don't know half it is not a rant video but just honest review of this tank and how much i actually didn't enjoy it you may enjoy it and i have absolutely nothing against you crazy salty cracker uh kitsune no you mary love you guys you enjoy it True enjoyers. Jacks, you enjoy it. Love you as well. You know, keep enjoying it. Whatever you enjoy in Worth Thanks, but just, you know, be, be warned, guys. It is not worth those bonds, what you need to pay for it. Anyway, guys, that is me done. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, take care, and bye.